Okay, guys, so here is part two of items I've used up. Um, it's a lot of Lush this time around because Joey got me this awesome Lush package for um, our anniversary. So I've been using up what I have because if you hang on to them too long, the products aren't as good as if, you know, you use them fresh. So anyway, we're going to continue. There is some more Lush, but I'm going to do this one next. This is Candy Cane Bliss from Bath & Body Works. This was released, I think, a year or so ago. But I hung on to it for this past um, holiday season. You know my love for Twisted Peppermint. I got my mother hooked on it, actually. It is just pure magic. It's like a vanilla e, um, It's a vanilla e peppermint -y. It's not in-your-face peppermint, but it's super clean. Me and my mother were talking about this. This product really should be available, or a mint product should be available. I mean, I know they have the lemon mint, but this twisted pepper should be available all year round because mint is just, it's kind of like with your toothpaste. It's something that's a clean fragrance that you should be able to use year round. It's not just, you know, a holiday fragrance. That's just me personally. I love this so much. I would use this year round, but because of um, it being, you know, only a winter item, I hoard it for that special time of year. Love it. Awesome. Next thing I used up was this Wild Passion Flower Hand Sanitizer. I got this at one of the semi-annual sales for like $1.75. Really nice, um... It's a floral, but it's not in-your-face floral. It's more fruity than anything else. But I use these big ones at my desk because they last... When I was using the small ones, I was going through one of those a week. Easy. Sometimes two. So this guy lasts me a while because you don't need a lot. It just sits on your desk. I mean, for the $5, these are worth it. If you're in a, an office, all the other girls that I work with now because I started using this particular brand are using them as well because they were using, I forget, I think it's called Germax. It was really big ones, but because everybody likes the fun scented ones, um, they were using mine, so they started getting their own. These are great. Next, now, I got these from my Walmart beauty box. This stuff is really awesome. This is L'Oreal Oly Therapy Sulfate-Free System Oil Infused Shampoo. Six flower oils are in here. Let me see if it says which um, flowers. Let's see if I can find the flowers. Um, I don't see the actual oils. But anyway, this stuff is really good. Now, the shampoo itself actually has a very oily consistency. It's a lot thicker than a normal shampoo. A little goes a long way with this stuff. This took me forever to use. This lasted me weeks, this little bottle. And you know how much hair I have, guys. This thing lasted me forever. I went through the conditioner a little quicker, but again, these products are actually a little goes a long way um, for both of them. So, this smells like a fresh bouquet. Like, this is what Fox in the Flowers should have smelled like, but didn't. This stuff is great. The fragrance is so fresh. It's just absolutely amazing. Uh, it was such a, a treat to use this. I totally recommend trying this, guys. The scent alone, I, I'm telling you, it's amazing. It makes your hair, like, more sleek. I definitely saw a difference after the first time use of this stuff. I don't know how much it is. I haven't like looked at it in the store yet. But absolutely amazing. I would not have looked at this product had I not received it in my beauty box. But um, it's definitely worth trying. Uh, there's no harsh salts, 100% sulfate free, no paraffins, natural botanicals, and it's 100% vegan. So, I mean, nothing but good stuff here, guys. And the smell, I mean, when you s pick this up, when, next time you go to Walmart or wherever you see it, and just smell it. It smells like a fresh bouquet of, like, carnations. It smells amazing, guys. Definitely, definitely worth checking out. I can't stop smelling it. I really can't. I love this stuff. Oh, it smells so good. Next, I used up this little Colgate. I got this from the dentist, but I always have a toothbrush at work so I can brush my teeth after, um meals. This is the Colgate Enamel Health Replenish and Polish. This is the gel. Not too bad. Um, I went through this really fast though. I feel like the paste I don't use as much as the gels. I don't know why. But it wasn't bad. It wasn't my favorite either though. 
you know, just a typical mint. It was fine. Um, I like Colgate better than Crest, so I do like the brand. Colgate is my preferred brand of toothpaste, but not bad. Not crazy, but not bad. Next, these were going to be a project pan item, but I used them up too quick for me to do a project pan. I don't have enough items right now to do a project pan, which is, I guess, a good thing. Um, I'm just using, like, right now I'm having fun with my makeup. I'm not, like, keeping myself to one palette at this moment. Um, I don't really have enough of anything to project pan right now. So that's a good thing. I'm uh, happy with that. Um, when the time comes, I'm sure I will. But these were going to be a Project Pan item, but I've already used them up. I got these when I was on vacation, and I just took them home with me. And these are Beach Mist Moisturizing Lotions. There was five of them. Like I said, um, I brought them home, and I was using them when I got out of the shower. Really nice beachy smell. It smells like you're at the ocean. These are really nice. But um, one tube of this would last me full body... Um, like two showers. So if I get out of the shower um, twice, this would last me two of those when I would moisturize. So that lasted me well, not too much. I mean, I went through them fairly quickly. I really enjoyed them. So that was nice to have. And I mean, it didn't cost. I mean, you pay for them when you buy the hotel room, but I mean, you know, I mean, you don't realize that. So I mean, like, you know, just one of those things they brought home. Why waste them? Because I mean, I'm sure they use them for other rooms, but you know, used them up. It was great. Next, oh, I do have one that I don't have a bag for, and that was Cinder's. I used that. That thing is awesome. I mean, I didn't break this one up. Normally, I break them up, but this one's smaller. So I used that, and I haven't used it in a while. And I know Juicy Star, Blair, Juicy Star 7, I think is her name. I know that sounds so bad. She's, like, so darn popular. But you know who I'm talking about when I say Blair. Blair, I know, did a video on that years ago, and she loved cinders, so I I used one, but then I never went back to it again, because there's other fragrances that I liked better. So I used cinders the other night. The smell's wonderful. It's got this warm, like, fireball or a red-hot scent, but it really does sound like a crackling fire, because it does have the, um, the popping candies. And, like, you, I didn't realize it, so there I'm sitting in the tub, and I'm just relaxing, and it really, it truly, because I have a, a wood stove, so I'm familiar with the sound. I'm like, oh my gosh, this really does sound like the, the crackling of a fire. It was so cool. Because the last time, I guess, when I cut it in half, I didn't get the full effect of it. That was just amazing. So, Cinder's is definitely a good pick. Definitely. Next, this was a, a Halloween one. This is the Wizard Bubble Bar. Mmm. It's harder to, to do. It's got Lang Lang in it. Fennel. Really? Hmm. Fennel, Lang Lang, tangerine oil, juniper berry. Now that is an interesting combination right there. I smell um, the fennel now that I'm smelling because fennel is very, it's, it's like a black licorice. Um, I have finally, my mother found fennel tea and I love fennel tea. She found it. Um, it's definitely a requ an acquired taste. If you do not like black licorice, you're not going to like fennel. So if you don't like black licorice, wizard probably wouldn't have been a choice for you. I don't smell the juniper. I get the hint of the tangerine in there though. But it was cuter than cute. He, he was absolutely adorable. And that's the main reason why I bought it, and I love wizards or anything to do with mythology. Um, this wasn't bad. It had cute little, like, gold stars in it. Actually, you could see one. They're in the bottom. You, no, you can't see it. But there's a tiny, itty-bitty, like, gold star flex in there. But this was awesome. I would buy it again just because of its cuteness. Again, if it's re-released, guys, if you do not like black licorice, you probably will not like wizard because there is, there is fennel in it. And I can smell the black licorice. It's not in your face. But black licorice, I've noticed, is one of those things you either love it or you hate it. It's not one of those um, flavors or fragrances that people are kind of, oh, I, it's okay. It's something I've noticed that you either love or you cannot stand. So if you do not like black licorice, I just saved you. Thank you. This one is Melting Marshmallow Moment. Amazing. Absolutely. 
absolutely amazing. Um, I got, I think I used three baths. I cut up in quarters. I know people say you can use it in fourths, but I did it in quarters. I wouldn't want to use one a whole one at one bath. I think that'd be too much. Mm. It really is. Mm. Melting marshmallow moment. This is made with what they say marshmallow root. And I mean, it smells like a flipping marshmallow, but sweeter. I guess I, I don't know. Because I react to Rockstar soap. I know, that's like blasphemy for people. Uh, my skin just can't handle it. But the last time I had Rockstar, it smelled very similar to this. I'm pretty sure that Rockstar is very similar to this. Mm. But it smells really good. It smells really, really good. And it really does make your skin feel nice and soft afterwards. This is an awesome product. Joey got me one of these for... Um, Valentine's Day. I haven't used that one yet, though, but I will be. Oh, this is so good. I want to try a floating island. I haven't tried that one yet. I've only tried this one, and then there was a little, it looked like a little golden pyramid. They don't make it anymore. He smelled amazing. That was just like karma almost. Oh my god. And I'm not one for, I've told you guys that a million times. I'm not a patchouli person, but the patchouli mixed with the orange oil, it's, oh my god. It's heaven. You know me and my citrus. It's amazing. I can't stop smelling. Oh, okay. Guys, I gotta get going before I get high off of Lush. Not that that's a bad thing, right? Um, but yeah, so that was the items. I used up this longer than a month here. I'm not lying. Maybe closer to two months here. Um, just because the items that I'm using are either really big products or they're not like this candle. I'm not going through them so quickly, you know. They're either really big, I'm not going through them so quickly. You know, que sera, sera. Anyway, guys, I'm going to get going because i got to do some running around before... I think it's snowing again. It definitely is snowing again. I don't want to snow no more. I want spring. Where do you... You guys might have some nice weather where you are. Anybody look... I know that some of... Some of you got some snow recently. I heard Georgia got snow. Um, my friend... My, one of my friends lives in the Carolinas. He got four inches... He lived up here uh, where I am for a long, his majority of his life. He moved down there um, like five years ago, so he has no problem in the snow. But he said like the entire state where they got snow, um, they couldn't drive. They, they were freaking out. They probably don't even have all-weather tires down there now that I'm thinking about it. Because up where I live, you know, in snowy areas, you know, other people who live in snowy areas, um, we have all-weather tires, we have snow tires. Where I live, chains on tires are illegal. I'm not sure if they're illegal in other states. Um, we have studded snows, which you have to take off. I forget if it's April or... I think it's April. You have to have this, the studs off of your tires. Um, but we have all these things because of the weather here. So, I mean, you're not going to be having studded snow tires in uh, Florida or Georgia, so... You guys probably don't have those kinds of tires that can take that kind of terrain. So I bet you it is kind of dangerous out there when you guys get a little bit of snow. Um, yeah, so let me know where you guys are and how the weather is. If it's warm, I, I am very envious right now because I am dying. Uh, uh, yesterday was 26 degrees here, and it felt like summer for us because we've been so used to the negative temperatures here. Negative 20s, negative 50s. We've had all this negative weather that literally yesterday I was like, oh my gosh, it's so warm out. And when I looked at the temperature, it was only 26 degrees. And I'm like, yes, it's warm compared to what we're used to. But for most people, this is freezing. It's kind of funny. Anyway, guys, I'm going to get going. Um, I might be doing another video later on today. I was, a friend at work gave me a bunch of shoes. So I might do a, a shoe try-on unbox. Well, they're, none of them have boxes, but you know, shoe try-on thing you know, show you my new shoes. Um, I haven't decided if I'm keeping them. She said, try them on. If you want them, you keep them. If not, give them back. So um, we're going to do that later, maybe, or tomorrow. We'll see. Um, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.